G'day, today we're going to have a look at the Mini Motorways level of Dar es Salaam and see if we can get to 2000. I haven't got there yet, but this level doesn't seem too bad. I haven't finished Tokyo yet, um, but that one seems to be its own little beast. Um, so we'll have a look at Dar es Salaam. What I quite like about this one, um, and I've gotten it this time, is that uh, the coast is right here. So I already know that expanding out, sort of like at Los Angeles, um, I'm only going to have to go one way. Now, the biggest problem that I've had so far in this level is the center of my map and having um, just congestion, just pure congestion through the middle. Um, so that's the thing that I've got to consciously fight against in this because otherwise I've found that this level is quite generous, at least for me so far, it's been very generous about placement of factories and houses, but it doesn't seem like they're too far apart. Um, but the problem I've had is that they, um, they just get really congested. Now, um, one thing that's sort of a nice separation here first is that uh, there's at least one house on, on this side so he can sort of focus on that and they can focus on that without everyone having to move to the same spot to get take care of the two factories. Especially these really early on factories, um, they are going to end up being the circle ones, they're going to end up being in the dead centre of the whole bedlam at this level. So if they are at least, if there are sort of, I guess, houses that are closer to one, houses that are closer to the other, it's sort of a nice nice initial setup. Um, I guess for anyone that's curious, I certainly didn't know before playing this, um, Dar es Salaam is in Tanzania, uh, obviously on the coast. And uh, yeah, now the, the one question mark that I have for the way that I'm playing this level is what's the approach that I should take here? Should I attempt to keep my lines separated or should I accept that they're eventually going to be uh, like part of each other and then just sort of um, adapt. Now I'm pretty certain that I'm going to get a um, set of houses here and from the few times I, I played, it's only been a couple of times now, but I'm pretty certain it's going to be dark blue. So at the moment that's not a problem because I shouldn't get a factory end up in here. I don't think they put factories on sand, I hope not. Um, but this population here should just be able to address this um, this factory. So in terms of the top of this um, so far, hopefully I'm looking all right. The um, I could obviously get factories up here that'll have to work their way around. In fact, what I'm going to do is build a line there so that if a factory does show up, it's going to have to show up further up uh, than that. So basically what I mean is that I'm not going to have a factory appear in this grid and it's immediately attached to that. If one appears at the top there, it's going to have to be north of that line and so at least I've got that one one line buffer um, to take care of it. Now with, I've already got two roundabouts, I do forget that they, they give you a roundabout to start this one. Um, so what I will do is, yeah, I'll leave it like that for now. Um, I think that there's definitely some value in using your um, sort of roundabouts and so on straight away um, because you can always move them. Um, I mean, highways are definitely a bit of a pain if you if you do want to move them in a pinch, um, but roundabouts probably aren't too bad. And like I said, I think that these early ones are going to be where there's a problem. Um, I'm already starting to consider there's going to be a problem here and that any other red houses I have are going to be removed from this tight little um, starting point. So I'm going to put that little dip up there um, just to have a highway connect to that uh, if, if it comes to that. But the, um, the sort of key strategy I think I'm going for, if he can, and I'm still yet to be to figure out if this is good, or, a good strategy or a bad strategy, is um, that I want to. I just, wonder, I just wonder if I want to block at the top here. I suppose if it's dark blue or light blue, it's not too bad. Might leave it as is for now. Um, sorry, what what I'm attempting to do is I think that to remove congestion or at least get rid of it as much as possible you want as few um, all right now what we'll do with that is we will disconnect that move him up that way Actually, I was gonna say connect him to there but I suppose this 
this guy's going to connect straight to him. I guess we'll give him that option. And then that guy can go straight in. Um, sorry, I forgot what I was talking about. Um, we do have that motorway still, but we are now lean on on track. But we can get rid of this at the top if we need to. Um, but discouraging anyone from being connected directly to that is still still something I want. But you can see that this is quite a quite a nice sort of start to this one. I have found that to date in playing this one, um, it does seem to. seem to be sort of gentle at least to start with. I mean that's going to stop the factory showing up there anyway. So that's okay. Now I do have hesitation about having too many houses stacked in a one spot and that the sort of slowdown that these cars will do um, to get in and out of their, their sort of areas. Um, how many bridges have I got? None. It's okay, we'll take the 30 tiles to compensate for what we did before. These guys are really slowing down into this part, and because there's so few houses in this area, actually we might just sort of give them a weird little roundabout for now at least just to get them moving a bit more efficiently. Um, another efficiency alteration I'll do is that, because then it means that people can come in and out of this without them everyone having to hit that intersection. We'll see how that works. So it means a guy's going to this one will swing out the top. Still very much early days in this one. Still hold out hope for getting our um, blue, dark blue houses up here. Purple, I think, is a colour that's still yet to come here, and I generally find purple ends up somewhere down here for housing. That's okay. Now this is where we're going to start to sort of have potential congestion concerns, because these guys have to connect here. Um, we can sneak it down. But it just means that they're going to be... All of yellow has to pass through that, that sort of intersection. So really, um, a roundabout would be good there too. I, I do like my two current roundabouts. The fact that all these, these three are in such tight quarters I don't want to um, have to alternate that, and I mean these guys are also managing. Um, cool, I mean that works for us, okay, because these guys are now connected to the outside. And what's what's also good about this is it means that these guys will come down this way, and um, it should relieve the amount of dark blue cars that are coming in this direction anyway. These guys here, not much I can do with them. But let's think about what options we, we can have. We might... We are going to have to take advantage of them in some capacity, I think. And what we'll do is we will just use our highway for now and do that. And so what these guys can do is... Um, swing over to the urgent one. Although it does seem they are starting to come. I don't know how the, um, the AI of this game works in this sort of situation. Does this identify that? I'll take the roundabout and we'll pause. Now the roundabout now we're actually going to put there I think. As opposed to here. Does this consider that these guys are further away than these guys? Okay. That 
roundabout, I guess, comes in handy again. Um, now this is where this does become a problem too, like a, a future problem. The size of this neighbourhood versus that every house from this has to go over here. Um, and you can sort of see that they're already moving slowly as they come into this neighbourhood, so everyone coming in is moving slowly. Um, a motorway would be good. Okay, well, I guess this guy's a, a, sort of a good outcome too. Uh, what we'll do is we will shift these guys across one. And we will bring this guy down. A really ugly road. We'll hope he gets some friends up there because otherwise it's a really manky road for, for one dude. But at least what that's going to do is reduce the amount of... Um, cars that have to travel across here and even through this um, through this section. Okay, and there are our dark blue houses we've been waiting for at the top, which is great. Gonna take the motorway. away. And we're gonna think about this. Now, if we moved these houses to connect to here, and we did that, and we took this from them, then it means that the only cars moving through this bottom side would be yellow. That diary would want to be a roundabout. But I think because of the sort of layout I've got of it, it gives me the option to make that a roundabout if I get offered one. And again, I don't want to give up any of my other roundabouts, I think that they're all working pretty nicely. And this, um, this neighbourhood up here is sort of, I think, reduced the urgency. Okay. Now on the other hand, this guy, if that's a uh, future um, suburb down here, that's where that motorway is going to go. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll put, connect these guys across. I'll wait for those to be reclaimed. Certainly a roundabout. Um, but again, we can I think feel like I can restructure all of this. If I take that roundabout out, um, it's gonna leave me without any of these roads connected until I can get enough. I think we'll put those two guys on that. Him down there and make that connection there. <sighs> Just need to wait a moment longer. So, we'll go back to this because we don't want to break a good thing. If it's been working for us, we'll, we'll keep it, even though I just destroyed it. And we'll put the roundabout in here. So, this guy comes in that way, this guy goes out that way, that comes in the top, and they go around. Now the good thing is that this one is just a square, so hopefully if we can get another one house up here, I think they could take care of this 
pretty well. We're just going to make that a slightly more direct road because why not? Again. Yeah, okay. So. Let's think about what our best option is here. move this guy to here, run across that way, do I have a bridge or do? That's the bottom of the map. Alright, so we'll go I realize that these guys actually aren't even using that is that connected? I can't tell. <laughs> okay. So these guys are our, I guess, emergency only um, sort of crew for, for this at the moment. to keep um, get him there's one intersection it's yellow yellow and red seem to be our two potential problems um, just purely for the amount of cars um, for I guess the amount of factories that they have and the cars in close quarters now luckily this neighborhood here is meaning that these guys are sort of almost working isolated um, to the rest Now let's work out if there is a good spot for a roundabout at the moment. Because surely there must be. Oh yeah, we'll go one up here. And what we'll do is we will separate this guy out to be his own one. And we'll put that and that guy on there too. Just to sort of... Um, sort of, I guess, increase their speed when they're heading home. Now, this is where Red has now gotten real hardcore because there's all three of these are uh, um, of these uh, the circular ones. So, at the point that I put this highway in, that was the only um, circular one. So, the question now is whether that's still the case of, as the most sort of pressing issue. Um, this hasn't extended any, so I mean, because this is only square, it shouldn't be too sort of problematic uh, in terms of getting really busy. I don't like having these guys have to run through the intersection of the, the freeway, but where else to put the freeway connection. I mean, I suppose these guys aren't even using it, though. So they're emergency only. But, I mean, they've also just given me another house at this end. So I think these guys are close to emergency only as well. But should I move this to over here? a little bit extra congestion for um, for this little area down here. Now we'll take the motorway and we will, <coughs> well I think we'll immediately use it to cover this guy down here. So we'll attach these extra guys. Now around that so that this guy isn't connected to it. We can see that almost all the cars in this area are um, at home, which means that they're the ones that aren't getting used. And what we'll do is we'll dip that down because it'll put them 
one square closer to where they're headed. It's weird that it's running underneath that road. Okay. This guy. We will connect to... Connect this side of that road. That way, connect him that way. Okay, now this is where we start to run. We have um, 1200, so basically, as long as we stay on top of it, we're going to be okay. We're obviously in class at the moment, it's purple, but purple also has a full sort of head of houses in there houses, cars, sort of like going in there and making the pickups. I think the genuine problem with purple is just that there's um, there's only one factory. Like all the others, I think that when they you sort of get jobs, you get one per color or so. And purple's just getting the one, um, the one factory is just getting given absolutely everything. And so you can see that it is sort of the, the purple cars are actually moving quite efficiently. The only problem is that there's just so many um, jobs that are coming up in demand here because they're doing they're doing a great job. Now this guy can't really get through, so he's just going to be dead weight up there. Same goes for that guy there. So we'll just check to make sure that we've got everyone connected. Um, and let's think about where our connections are. Now, this factory here has got four cars that can do it. And they're not even on the move. Um, but, there's one of them on the move. But the biggest problem that I have is this guy and their congestion. So. Would removing that cause this to have that inherit that congestion? But at the same time, would that be fine because it would take a lot of the purple cars off the road? Interesting. I think that we're going to have to address this guy though. So, didn't I just take a motorway? Thought I just picked up a motorway. Now, hopefully this is actually my problem solver. Um, that, that I have just gotten a... Um, yeah, you can see that because I've just picked up this factory, this the demand on this one has just suddenly um, dropped down a lot. So, um, yeah, that's that's quite nice. Um, a bridge would do me good too, because then a bridge could get these two guys sort of connected. So possibly I just want to use this for these two guys. There's my highway. Okay. So how's this guy looking down here? Is he doing okay? Actually caused a lot of congestion here with this new addition. <clears throat> but we're up to 1600. So what we want to do is we want to put this in somewhere. Um, to make sure that no one goes nuts. Let's have a look at where our congestion sort of is. We've got these two purple dudes here as well. So I mean... Giving these two guys an out to get somewhere is as good as these two guys. And we don't want to we don't want to wait too late to sort of realize where we need to be sort of fixing because um, this is definitely the kind of uh, unlike Mini Metro if you if you sort of try and make your correction too late um, it's you can't make an instant fix like you could in Mini Metro. Okay. So I think that what we'll do is 
we will shift this to there. These guys can still make that connection. These blue guys are getting absolutely worked over time. Cool. Well, we got another blue house in there, so at least that gives us a third guy to, to try and cover this. Um, the question then is, what guys need to come and, and do this for me? Now I can see there are guys still sitting in there. Um, did I have a thing? Or was I making that up? Alright. I think what we're going to have to do is just build straight across to address this for now. And hopefully they don't cause too many problems for that yellow and all the movement that they're doing. Cool, we got a fourth dark blue house down here as well. Um, so he's he's doing his job. Now we're at 1700 and the fact that we have no one in there sort of like big circles is very good. These red guys are starting to look real shaky. Um, and they are really going nuts with where they're just chucking me these dark blue houses at the moment. So what we're hoping is that all these red guys can sort of hold on uh, for now. I suppose these guys can connect there. They can sort of do the job if needed. They're looking alright. I think at the moment mainly what we need is just people to not get in Red's way. It's Sunday now. If we can get a motorway that can take, I guess, some of the traffic from here up here. Cool. Alright. So what we'll do is we will build... We'll connect that guy. Build a motorway here. And one here. And we will take... We do have two motorways, I wasn't crazy. Okay, and so what we'll do as well is we'll kill that corner. Build that like that. And put that motorway like that. Okay, now we just gotta pray that red can can just hold on. Now this guy here is another one that's looking worse. That's 870. 1900, I think we've got this. This guy can connect too. There we go, 2000, we got there. Now, red definitely is, looks like they're just gonna be our ones that, that collapse here. I mean, we've got, we've got a nice flow of a lot of cars moving in there to do the job. This is starting to get a little bit locked down though. Um, but that's sort of what I meant when I said you could see that you really need to make sure you've got a good traffic flow through the middle. Um, now I do think that the one of the best suggestions I can give for actually success in this level, because I don't think it's, I think they're pretty nice in the way that they give out their, um, their different levels, but, uh, sorry, their, their locations on this one. But if you can start a game where the, um, we'll just use that bridge, um, where you actually are starting and you can see the coast on the right, so as opposed to your starting zone being this little area here, that it actually is sort of out this way, Perfect. That's really um, the situation you want to find yourself in. Um, are these guys actually going to work? Where are they headed? I guess I can go to here now. I, mean, Red's, well, I don't think these guys are going to be much for this world. This is a really nice score though that we're trucking along with purple's looking congested. I mean, you can definitely see that you reach a point where your system is going to be ex has to be extremely efficient because otherwise uh, everyone is going to be I mean, the congestion in in this roundabout here is starting to fall apart too. Um This guy's going to go. Oh, hold on. Every second in this one gets you a really nice big score, but there we go. Um, that's how we do, uh, uh, I can't even remember the name of the level anymore, Dust Alarm. Um, any questions or comments, feel free to chuck them below. I think that this level is way easier than Tokyo. Um, I only had a couple of attempts on this one, and I think 1500 and something was my lowest. So definitely if you're struggling on Tokyo, straight jump straight through to this one. 
much more enjoyable experience. Anyway, till next time, I'll catch you later. See ya.